I underwent EMDR treatment, which is a treatment used for war veterans, and it's become popularized for victims of sexual abuse because when you're very little, your brain can completely just put it in a bubble and disappear it, and you become disassociative. And I experienced sexual assault and sexual abuses throughout my early teens. Uh, I left home at 15. Different things just kept coming my way. I talk about it very candidly and very openly because we can't when we're in it. And I want people to know that you can. You can get to a place where you can talk about it and when you don't have an emotional charge, but you definitely have to go through the work. And we do that by uniting together. Fear isolates, love brings us together. So that's what today's about. It's all about love. You were the victim of a sexual assault. What happened and how did that affect these altars and a, as a way of coping with that? The interesting thing about that incident was the altar that I lived most in was this, you know, hard, tough, you, I would wear a black wig because I was trying to put off this tough exterior to the world. Blonde hair was not safe enough, so I would wear black wigs a lot, and I would kind of put off this very masculine air. It was definitely a very defined altar that I existed in for most of this early period, especially being out here in Los Angeles and, and being um, subjected to a lot of things I was subjected to, including the group that I was in where I met this person who would go on to assault me in my apartment. I just laid there and my body froze and shut down and I did nothing. And that was the hardest thing for me to cope with. It actually sent me deeper into disassociation, I believe, uh, looking back in hindsight. But it didn't trigger any of the childhood memories. It just drove you and them deeper. Yes, sir. And that, that tough persona that tough altar, is that the one you call Little Anna? No, so <laughs> Little Anna it, to me is my six-year-old self. Oh, okay. So I had the 13-year-old the self was, she was the Anna I identified most with. And you say you coexist sometimes yourself with alters, mm -hmm. and you've learned to coexist. Yes. And right now, are you coexisting with any of your alters as you sit in that chair today? So as of March of 2019, I had an incident where I see a room like this, and it's empty except for 75 me's in there. I had a moment with a partner where I couldn't get the reins back and I literally got up and ran out of the room and locked myself in my closet. And I was saying out loud to myself, please let me have, let, let me be me. And it was this, I mean, you, how do you, you know, this is something we have to talk about because it's so yeah. hard to explain. Yeah. Well, for somebody that doesn't understand it, it looks like bizarre behavior, mm -hmm. but it, it is you fighting for control at that point. And there is a tug of war going on to integrating everything into a six and a 13 year old. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.